Hey guys, today on Absolute Aquatics, we're going to be testing the water with Tetra test strips. Alright, so all you do is you take your test strip, dip it in the water, give it a quick shake, and then you let it sit. And it will start to change. Alright, so now we will compare. So it looks like I have about, if it'll focus. Alright, well it's not going to focus, but it looks like I have a little bit less than 20 parts per million nitrate. Zero, oh shoot, sorry. Zero nitrite. Hardness is um, fairly high, probably over 300, higher than I expected. Then alkalinity, geez, about, let's see, I'm gonna twist it. So my KH is about 80, and then, let's see, my pH is about 7.2. Now, I'm going to take another strip, and I'm going to test my tap water. Alright, so now I've got this dirty aquarium cup. Let's take my test in, pull it out. Let it sit for a little bit. Jeez, I'm having a hard time keeping stuff in focus today. There, I'll move. Right there. Alright. So now I will do a quick check. So, out of the tap, no surprise. There's zero nitrate, zero nitrite. It looks like my total hardness is about, my GH is about 300. My KH is about 120. And my pH is probably about 7.3, 7.4. Sorry, this has been a very poor video quality video, but the point of it was to show you guys what my water is and just to do a quick demonstration on how to use the Tetra Test strips. I know that these are not technically the very best, like most accurate way, but is the quickest and easiest, and it's accurate enough. All right, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Absolute Aquatics. Today, we talked about the easy strips by Tetra, Tetra Test Strips. Let me know, do you use them? Do you not trust them? If you don't trust them, let me know why. I personally have seen videos of testing them side by side and them being very, very similar. So let me know, give me an argument, leave that in the comments. Give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.